here's a brand new traffic experiment that I have to share with you. I've just started using this myself and I'm really excited to see what kind of results I can get with this. So I thought maybe you would benefit from it too. So let me walk you through it. It's really simple. It's really easy to do. And what we're going to do is leverage one of the biggest websites, one of the biggest platforms on the planet and use that to direct traffic to our websites, to our offers, to whatever we want. So this is the platform we're going to use today. It's Prime Video Direct. So what we're going to do today is repurpose the videos that you're already making. And we're going to put these on Amazon Prime. So that's going to increase your audience. And if you want to, you can sell your videos to the Prime customers as well, or to just Amazon customers that don't necessarily have Prime accounts. That's your choice. I'm going to walk you through how to do it. It's really quick and easy to do because I've just figured this out tonight. It's something that, I was, that has kind of been in the back of my head for a number of years. And I've seen other people's videos on there, you know, people that I've worked with in the past. So, for example, like Alex Jones's videos on there. And I have thought, do you know what? It wouldn't it be really good if we could add our content on there as well? And it kind of clicked today. It's like, what's stopping me, right? <laughs> you don't need an audience of millions and millions like other people have got. Anyone can do this. So what's really held me back from this was my own confidence and uh, belief in myself. But that shouldn't really be a barrier. So I can do this. You can do this too. We should all really be using these kind of platforms. Why not, right? It's it's all there for the taking. So if you go to videodirect.amazon.com, you'll come to a page that looks something like this. Your version might look a little bit different. That's fine. It says helping studios, distributors and independent filmmakers reach audiences worldwide. Create your free account. So there you can go through all the blurb if you want to. It's going to tell you why it's good a good idea to use this. And listen, this is completely free, right? We don't have to spend a penny to reach the Prime and the Amazon audiences. They give us all the tools that we need to do completely for free. So if you like the idea of this, go ahead, sign up. I'm going to sign into my account and then we'll land on a dashboard that looks something like this. Now on my one, because I've just literally started using this tonight, I tested it out, I saw how easy it is to use, and then I switch on the camera and hit record. That's that's how we've got to this point. And as you can see, I don't have any results yet. In fact, the video that I've uploaded isn't even live yet. I'll talk more about that in a second. So you really are taking your steps with me on this journey. So the dashboard looks like this. We've got your videos landing page. We've got a few more options up here. So if we click on here, you can add another account. And if we go to your videos, here you're going to see what I've done previously. So here, notice this, experiencing delays. We're experiencing a delay in publishing and updating titles. Thanks for your patience. This is important, okay? It's important to note that when you upload your videos, there's going to be a delay between the time that it takes to upload and then the time it takes to actually publish that video. Because let me show you something. I went to, where is it here? The support section and it says, how far in advance should I submit my content so it goes live by a certain date? After clicking publish, your title must go through the publishing process. This includes delivery, encoding, reviewing, and making the content available to customers. Pre-publish review typically takes four business days. Okay, that's really important because, let me show you my video. So here we have add, uh, the titles. So I've just uploaded something for affiliate marketers. If we click on that. Here, look at publish. It's grayed out, so I don't have the option to publish anything yet. So I assume that it's in pre-publish review. So bear in mind when you upload your content to this platform, that will probably happen to you too. Okay. 
So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and upload a video. It's really quick, it's really simple, and anyone can do this. Sorry to interrupt the video that you're watching. I've got an update for you. So I recorded what you're watching last night, and then I go for a walk this morning, I come home, check my email, and I received a message from Amazon saying that I can now publish the video. So now we have a time frame. So you do have to put in your tax details, but when you do that, it's in my experience, it's taking maybe what, 12 or so hours. So let's go ahead and publish this on Amazon. I'm recording this so you don't miss out on anything. So here we are in uh, Prime Direct Video. And here we've got the videos that I've been working on. Let's go to this one. So Affiliate Marketing Beginner Step-by-Step -step Tutorial. If I click on that, it should take us to a page that has the publish button. So if I click on publish, it says if there are no errors in your submission, your title will go live within two to four business days. Fantastic. Let's click publish. It's been submitted. Brilliant. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to continue with the video now. So keep watching till the end. So here we can search for your existing videos. So let's click add title. Give it a strong title. Think about the things that people are searching for on the platform. Think about the keywords that you might want to use. I'm not really too up to date on the algorithm on how it works, but I'm going to assume that it will look for keywords in the title, in the description, maybe even in the video file name itself. So let's say we're going to upload something about affiliate marketing. I'm going to go affiliate. Can I even spell today? Affiliate marketing video and then category. Let's go with educational and then English. That's good. Let's click continue. And then we've got a few options. It literally takes just a few minutes to get up and running with this. So here, add your synopsis. Make sure that you add your keywords in here just to be on the safe side. So guide to affiliate marketing. So interesting blurb. You might want to put a few calls to action in there maybe. Um, I can't see the harm in doing that. Genre, if we go down to, let's say, non-fiction, computers, programming, software, web. That might be one. Another one could be... I don't know, information technology. It's really up to you and the content, but add as many of these as you can. So I'm just going to add uh, education. So we can add one, two, three, three genres in there. Then country. Well, I'm in the UK at the moment. Let's put in another one. United States, original release date. Click. Um, here, let's say we want to release it in, I don't know, a couple of weeks time, maybe there and then add rating, choose which one you think it should be uh, rated as. Be really honest with this. So if you're swearing in your videos, you know, make sure it's not you. Um, if that is, uh, if you're going for the British board film classification, choose the one that is relevant to you. Probably motion picture of America. Let's go PG, PG, then graphic assets. Now, this is kind of cool because it allows you to give or upload three different images. So if you're stuck on, on how to make these, click graphic assets guide. Click on that. It's going to tell you the scroll down. It's going to tell you where is it down here? The specific dimensions to create your images for each one. And what I encourage you to do here is make them visually appealing, make them stand out. If you can make them pop, then that's going to draw more people to clicking on that once it's on Prime. And then once you've got all that done, click Save. Then Cast and Crew. Here, make sure you name your studio. There I've called this Content Copilot. That's a new project that's coming out soon from Profit Copilot uh, crew, add your name in there. I've just added mine as producer. So here, because it's asked for two, I've had to put my name in twice. 
So for name and character, then again, name and character. That seems kind of really egotistical, right? But anyway, then video assets. Here you can just browse, upload your video, make sure it's MP4 and it's HD. That's really important. So you don't want to upload anything that's in standard def. Make sure it's HD, uh, you know, full 1080 HD. Then your, your captions, you need these. You need to have your subtitles sorted out. How do you get your subtitles done? Because you probably don't want to spend a fortune on Rev or wherever to have a massive video transcribed, right? I've got a shortcut for you. Let me show you. Okay, here we are on YouTube. This is a video that I published a few days ago. Uh, if you haven't seen it, do go ahead, check it out. It is really good. And I would say that, right? I'm really biased. Anyway, here we have these dot icon thingies. So if we click on that, go to open transcript. And now over here, you have a ready made transcript. that You can just highlight, copy all of this information, just drag it right down, copy that. And there it's auto generated in Dutch for some reason. Okay, you don't want to, you don't want to do that. Make sure it's in English anyway. So <laughs> assuming that you've got the right language, what you do is you just paste all that into a Word document or a notepad document. And then you're going to have all these time codes, their timestamps with your transcript. Then you save that as a dot S or T. My Irish accent is coming out there. So it's S or T file. And then you upload your S or T file there. And then choose your, your language, choose the frame rate. FYI, if you're uh, downloading from YouTube, chances are it's going to be 29 uh, frames per second. I shoot in 24, 25 frames per second, but I think uh, YouTube changes them to 29. You can upload a trailer if you want to. That's fine. Then click availability. This is where you can charge for access. Now, I'm not going to do that with my videos because I've uploaded them to YouTube already. I convert them into a podcast, put that out for free as well. So I don't feel it right to charge one audience for the content that I add here when I'm not charging another audience. So that's just my personal preference. But you do you. You run your business in the way that you want to run it. And if you want to charge people for your content, then you can ask them to buy it. If you click that, scroll down to uh, the price options there. You can also allow them to rent it. Again, scroll down here, choose your, your uh, pricing options there and then click save. But we're still barely scratching the surface. So if you are serious about driving traffic to your website, I'm going to give you the methods that I never share on YouTube. I'm going to give them to you for free. When you go to profitcopilot.com slash traffic, grab that. It will not cost you a penny. And if you found this useful, give it a thumbs up below, subscribe to the channel too, and hit that little notification bell so you never miss an update from me. And I will hopefully see you again in a couple of days time. Take care.